Episode 1 The Tide Pool. When you go down to the ocean, you may find tide pools, but do you know what to look for? Stay put and find out. I will take you on a tour of a large tide pool and show you what you can find. At the shore edge where it's sandy and pebbly and rocky, you will find hermit crabs, periwinkles, small crabs, and tiny brine shrimp. Hermit crabs have soft bodies. They use the shells of dead periwinkles as their homes. Periwinkles are little snails that live all over the tide. They can retreat into their shell and close a little door to hide from predators. The little crabs do here are so small that their pincers cannot pinch you. In the middle of the tide pool where the bottom is sandy, you can find flounder, a type of flatfish that looks just like sand. The way to catch a flounder is to follow it and catch it in a net as it swims away. They're only visible when they move. You can find sand shrimps which flick away with their tails to escape and bury themselves in the sand. The way to catch them is to scoop up the sand with the shrimp in it and let the sand trickle through your fingers. Under the large rocks in the middle of the tide pool you can find big crabs and lobsters. You have to handle these guys with care because their pincers can draw blood. When you try to catch a crab, it will dig its back legs into the sand and point its pincers upward to defend itself. A lobster will flick its tail like a sand shrimp and try to swim away. You can catch them both with the net, then you can pick them up, but be careful where you put your fingers. ocean or outer edge of the tide pool among the rocks you can find worms, sea urchins, little fish, sea stars, tiny lobsters, and crabs. But you have to look very hard. If you turn over a flat rock, you might find a brill star if there was a bit of space under the rock. If the rock was stuck to the pool floor, then it will be muddy underneath and you can find small flat ocean worms. On the sides and edges of larger rocks, you may find sea stars and sea urchins. If you gently turn a sea star upside down, you can watch it turn itself back over. A sea star has tiny tube feet that it uses to move. If you gently place a sea urchin on top of a rock, you can watch it extend its two feet all over its body and crawl into the shadows again. tide pool is the nursery to the sea. This is why we find so many small creatures here. It is also a place for injured creatures to recover. This is a lobster that has lost its claw, but see the bud that is a new claw growing? I hope you have found this guide helpful. Send an email to the address below to receive announcements of future episodes of Colin Science Boy! Music
Thank you.